Greetings. This is the Ghetto Free Press. And I want to ask the people in the state of Georgia, the good people, have I not painted clear enough picture for you to understand in truth that something is seriously wrong concerning the newly elected black mayors in the state of Georgia. Have I not made it clear, crystal clear, for all the world to see that many of the news media outlets are not reporting the news concerning the problems in many of our cities. Have I made it clear that in Meigs, Georgia, Linda Harris is suffering? That community is being torn apart. People there 70 and 80 years old have witnessed, have reported it on video, and it has gone to the governor of the state of Georgia, the Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, and Attorney Sam Olins. And yet, there is no relief for them. Have I not made it crystal clear that in Dawson, Georgia, a young mayor by the name of Chris Wright was shot six times, left in his yard for dead. His neighbor came over and assisted him, called 911 or somebody to call 911 is the only reason that young man is alive and back in office today. Have I not made it crystal clear that after nearly four years that the equipment 10 plus 2 have not gone to trial and that they had done nothing wrong. But as many of the citizens allege, that District Attorney David Miller, Assistant David Attorney Brad Sheely, the former school attorney, Boone of the Post Office, the Registrar, all possibly made some mistakes and gave some embarrassing testimonies during the first mistrial of Lula Smart and the second trial of Lula, Lula Smart also ended up in a mistrial. Governor Nathan Deal stepped in and removed three of the equipment 10 from the Brooks County School Board of Education only to later put them back on the board because the time expired and they had not sent them to court. The equipment 10 plus 2 gave Brooks County for the first time in history a black majority on the Brooks County School Board of Education. Some did not like that. They always think that the school board should be dominated by white people. We had no trouble, and I'm from Brooks County, of being supervised and led by white school board members. But when the blacks became the majority, all heaven broke loose in the city of hell, seemingly. Your news media concerning equipment 10 plus 2 did not walk the streets like I did and Pastor P Calvin Benjamin. We heard elderly people stating that the GBI intimidated them, asked them stupid questions as they did back in bygone decades. But you don't know nothing about that. You don't know that some of the elderly people say they would never vote again. Never. 
vote again. Some of the people testified on the witness stand in Brooks County and cried on the stand and asked the question, what is going on in Brooks County? Now, if you want to see more about this, I don't want to hit, I want to be brief today. Just Google the equipment 10 plus 2. Now, I want you to know that everything that I've said up thus far have been sent to the governor of the state of Georgia in one form or another, the Secretary of State, Brian P. Kemp, and Eric Holder of the Justice Department through Representative Tyrone Brooks, the late Senator Brown, Senator Lucas, and others. Even Edward DeBose and the state president of the Southern Christian Leadership Conference and other civil rights organizations are also familiar with these situations, even if they don't come to the aid of these people. Haven't finished yet. Have I not made it crystal clear that Valdosta and Lyons County are leading the state of Georgia in jail deaths? 31 from, 2000, from 1994 to 2009, and from 2009 to present, we don't know how many because that's top secret in the state of Georgia, and nobody is even willing to question how many American citizens, many of them retired veterans, some ordinary veterans, but nobody seems to care until Memorial Day or Veterans Day when they get up and lie and say they care about our veterans. You don't hear the news media talking about that, do you? But I talk about it because I love this country. I took an oath and an obligation to defend this country from both foreign and domestic enemies. And when anybody rises up against the American citizen, they are enemy to this country. When a judge outrightly side an issue based on his racial backup and those who are in the clique and among his uh, uh, the slicks that's an enemy to this country and we need to stand up especially you people who are on active duty disabled veterans ordinary veterans and retired military veterans especially you but you sit back and you say and do nothing like I used to until I fail one day on my way to the bus station So how could it be that people can continue to go to a jail that has been problemed, problemed by bad people, including people that I won't mention here right now because I want to make this short. Judge Hugh Lawson ruled in 1997, June of 1997 to be exact. He found 103 violations in that jail, gave the jail or the, 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 the county two years to come in compliance. And yet, when we wrote to the district attorney, David Miller, and Sarah Crow, who was the clerk of the court at that time, and one Judge Turner, and even to the Honorable Judge Hugh Lawson himself, out of the middle district of Georgia, Valdosta Division, he failed to respond to the people in our community under the head, under the heading of the People's Tribunal. So we pride ourselves as a city, state, and nation of laws. Pretty soon, the whole world will know what a real democracy looked like. Wait, haven't finished yet. Have I not made it crystal clear that in Lumpkin, Georgia, that a sitting, a sitting city council member, allegedly Debbie Stone, was talking to a white fire chief, newly assigned white chief, a newly assigned white fire chief, and called the first black elected mayor in Lumpkin, Georgia, a nigger. Have a finish it. But who seems to care what goes on 
Lumpkin is being torn apart. People are talking. People are still paying taxes. We who put on that uniform to defend this country in foreign nations had better think about what we are doing. We just may need to take that uniform off and come back home to America and fight for the rights we thought we had been granted in the Constitution, but are being denied. Wait a minute, haven't finished yet. What about, no, 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 have I not made this clear? That a 14 year old girl, black girl, at Pine Grove Middle School was hogtied, face down, and on the floor in front of her peers and educators by a Lyons County Sheriff deputy that looks like he weighs about 300 pounds, and this student only weighs about 100 pounds, took her down and handcuffed her for striking an educator. Then she went before the Honorable Judge Ellaby. And you should have seen the transcript, if they produce one. She now found out that transcripts in Lyons County, perhaps in other counties in Georgia, are not transcribed, but they transcript it. They transcript them the, the way they want them scripted. But do you not know that the educators gave written documentation that that girl never struck an educator. And do you not know they are still in pain? And even above all of that, as they fight for justice, and I stood with them, and I walked with them, they even gave the news media, the radio, the television, all of them are copies of her package to show where the teachers had given her a, 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 a written a, 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 a document that her daughter never struck them. But do you not know she was found guilty? And do you not know that the family is in outrage? And do you not know they don't have no confidence in the judicial system in Lowndes County and the state of Georgia? Have I finished yet? Haven't I made it crystal clear? That happened to that young 14-year-old lady, a young girl, May the 24th, 20... Oh, shucks, I forgot what year it is now. But the point I'm trying to make is that the next day, I, George Boston Ryan, was stopped while I was going into the Lowndes County High School graduation. And do you not know that the sheriff deputy told me that I was under a criminal trespass warning and that if I went to own any property that was owned by Lyons County High School that I would be arrested? He said you would be arrested. And do you not know that I recorded it from his radio of the Lyons County Sheriff's Department? I recorded it. I got it recorded now. And do you not know that after one year, and five months, that I am still under that criminal trespass warrant as far as I know. And so I've been denied the right to go to Board of Education meetings denied the right to go to any Lyons County High School games or I would be arrested according to what I have documented. And do you not know that nobody would say anything to me at the state level, at the county level, at the city level, not even Eric Holder of the Justice Department who were notified by persons I will not mention here today. haven't finished yet. I got more I can say on that. Just Google Val Doster criminal trespass or just Google George Boston Ryan criminal trespass. You'll get all that. Let me move forward.
Have I not made it crystal clear that here in Gordon, Georgia, Gordon, Georgia, and what is happening to Mary Ann Whippaloo is indeed a disgrace. It is a disgrace to our form of government. I have never in my life in dealing with civil rights since 1975, I have never seen a city council member, a mayor pro tem, and an attorney, for the most part, seemingly, is so hard beat against a sitting mayor. I just haven't seen it. I've never seen that. We have council members here in Gordon that are suing the people and their fellow board member, a council member, on things that they should have gotten behind closed doors and resolved. And moreover, if the, if the attorney for Gordon took it upon himself through oath or uh, obligation of the Bar of Georgia, it seems to me that he should look out for the welfare of the mayor because not to look out for the welfare of the mayor would also put the council or the city in jeopardy for, uh, and, and that's the people or agency that's paying his salary. It just don't make sense. Look, Mayor Whippleu came into office six months ago. And if she can do all these bad things enough to be impeached or removed from office, and she's already been taken down because some people believe there's a clique and those among the slicks, and, 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 and they believe from what I've given since I've been over here, is that it runs far up the chain of command. And, 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 and I think I've said enough, but the point I want to say here is that don't y'all think that something kind of stink concerning this situation? Now, I don't know. Every place that I've called, and I'm not going to go into the rest of them, but I'll give you their names. I was called to other cities, such as Warrington, Georgia, such as Davisboro, Georgia, such as ter uh, several other cities, not just the one that I've mentioned. And Quitman, Georgia, I got to mention that. They have problems, but I must mention that Quitman, in my opinion, and from what I've learned about, now I ain't talking about the voting process, I'm just talking about city government seem to be working a little better than the rest of them. Do you know, in closing, that Secretary of State Brian P. Kemp ignored public meetings in Brooks County wherein problems were identified with the election process and with complaints being filed. He sent his investigator from Macon down to Quitman. And the people haven't heard nothing else about it. And so it is obvious that something is strangely wrong in the state of Georgia, and it seems like they are doing everything they can to circumvent the voters as if they do not want black African Americans to be in power. Now, that go, that's it. The, 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 the behavior of, of these people, that group of people that's in this secret, top secret coalition to disenfranchise the voters is going to soon be known. I, I will assure you that soon we are going to know what this whole system and sh sh scam is. Oh yeah, let me tell you why we gonna find out. We gonna find out because all white people are not bad. And I'm saying this to black people because you need to know it. All white people are not bad. And I will tell anybody who think all white people are gr uh, agree with what these few people are doing to maintain power and not share it, they are not in the majority. Black people need to understand that. Black people need to understand that there are white right people, even here in Gordon, Georgia. Here in Gordon, many white people understand what's going on and they know better than black folk what's been going on for a long time. But they won't say nothing because you see, they understand the scriptures. Wherein Apostle Paul, a white European, said, 
according to scripture, that we fight not against flesh and blood, but against powers and principalities of power and spiritual wickedness in high places. And so white right people are not going to fight black folk. They're not going to fight uh, 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 white people. They, 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 they understand what the problem is. It's not about that. It's about money. And so just like in maids, when Linda asked for an audit, all heaven broke loose and made Megs the city of hell. From what I understand, in Gordon, Georgia, when Mary Ann Whippleu took office and wanted to know how the money was being spent and what was going on and these about these 19 banking accounts, all heaven broke loose in the city of Gordon and turned it into what seemed to be a city of hell. Why don't you just have the audit? Meg just finished their audit. The city manager just resigned. I witnessed it and it's recorded on my YouTube channel. And others have stepped down with more changes to come. But in the end, I want you to know, I want to continue to do nothing but give you the truth. And if I give the truth, I'm going to be called a many names. But I know like Jesus knew. I know like Muhammad knew. I know like Moses knew. I knew like Buddha knew. I know like all these great words that we talk about. I know something. I know something. I know that St. John 8.32 says, And ye shall know the truth, and that the truth shall set and make you free. And America, you cannot be free until you accept that you are living a lie. And, when, and if you are willing to repent and straighten yourself up, then America can be seen as the beacon of hope. But if you don't do that, the whole world gonna believe that you're on dope. Dope, dope, because you are not fair to all of your citizens. There is no need of trying to disenfranchise the black voters or the white voters or the Japanese voters or the Latino voters. Just do what is right in God's world. Just do what is right for the active duty personnel, the disabled veterans that done serve this nation. Don't block and make it hard for them to get public records from a public institution in the state of Georgia. You say you got a sunshine law, let me repeat, you say you got a sunshine law, then let the sunshine of right and righteousness shine in. Because in the end, truth, justice, and equality will win. And there is nothing you can do about it. Now you ask yourself a question, why don't those black people and why don't those white why don't those white right people and those white Japan I mean uh, right Japanese and those right Germans and those right Latinos and those right Jews and those right other right human beings, why don't they shut up? The reason they cannot shut up is because it is documented in scripture that if we, the righteous, if we, the righteous, refuse to stand up and speak truth, then the rocks, the rocks of the earth will cry out. And I, as a human being, do not want rocks crying out for me before my God. I don't want the squirrels to cry out for me when God made us the masters of this earth. And so, I'm asking you again, if I have not made it clear to you yet, then there may be something wrong with me and not you. And so because I take the blame, just remember that I'm going to continue to try to get you to see the light because I love you just that much. And I want you to know something, that when I'm gone and when others are gone like me, God going to send another 
to tell you the same message. You cannot hide from the truth of the God of my ancestors. You can run to the ends of the earth. You can get on a spaceship and go as far out into space as you want. But I believe what is written in the volume of sacred law as I close. Heaven and earth will pass away. Yes, But the yes, truth, yes. God said, what I say unto one, I say unto all. And he said, I have no respect of persons. And this is why I do what I do. Because I am 100% sure that in the end, truth, right, and justice will win. If not before the judges in this world, then truly in the world to come. And you who mistreat other people, be forewarned that God is not mocked. For whatsoever you sow, you're going to reap it. And if you don't reap it, your children, your grandchildren, and your great-great-grandchildren, and coming generations, are going to pay for what they have done to the household of the faithful. I didn't say that. I'm only repeating that because I believe that and I have seen that even in my lifetime.